amount of soiling you want. Right, Guys, so whose machine is this? <laughs> and then we'll do... I need a plug socket. <laughs> it, oh, it's down there. Have you got an extension lead of you? Yeah. I've moved that chair quickly. I've brought my extension to you as well. Let me put that over here. Josh? Yeah. Josh? Yeah. Would you mind trading the W562 for this? No. <laughs> you sure? Do you know, no chance. you know Chris wanted to trade my W562 for his W Classic? Oh, God, I remember. I thought, no. Nah. I thought, what's the point? I thought W Classic ain't much anything Ooh. different. Mind you, there is what a... What did you think of your Samsung when you had it? Oh, me? Yeah. Oh god, well, that was the worst mistake I ever made in my life. Hey! You only had that for like, I swear, like a couple yeah, of weeks. Yeah, Swift Drive had it about a month. A month. And then AO took it back. Because it was crap. I don't know why I even made it in the first oh, place. Right, we didn't do that last time. Yeah, my ZWC 1300 is perfectly running. Right, right, so. The older ones work. You ready? Oh, there you go. How long is it? How long is it? 141. There you go. It'll probably adjust, hopefully. We've got the Autodos. Does the, light, so does the light bit. stay on? Um, for a few seconds and it goes off. You yeah. can bypass it though, Kai's done it on his one. Yeah, apparently you can. You need, you'll need an LED bulb for that so it doesn't burn out. Yeah. Yeah, well, you, that is an LED, isn't it? Yeah, that is an LED. That one is. Right, it's not going to fill for the drawer anymore, it's going to get filled directly in there. Oh, let's have a look. There you go. Oh my god, oh yeah. My god. See that move? Oh yeah. So I select the powder side. So that twin dos, would you also would you normally have that mounted on a wall or something? Um you can put it on a more wall, but I think that's another accessory apparently. It didn't come with my box, so I think it's not other not optional accessory for the put it on the wall. See, what it does, it's not filling through the drawer, you see? See? It's so filling. it's filling directly into the machine? Yes, it's directly into there. The only trouble is, if you had, you had those twin, uh, an Autodos in London, that would get full line scale for you. Oh, yeah. That's the only trouble that... And it fills directly... So yeah, how have you fit. done your hose, Josh? So this hose, this how's, this? Your, how's your drain hose gone into it? Because I'm just wondering... It goes, go, it goes into the bath drain. No, I'm just wondering then why... Because yours doesn't swing, does it, your hose? No. It's, it's literally right. It's right up against the wall. It doesn't need so just why the hell hurt. is mine refusing to do it then? I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> because it only did it for like the first month that we had it. Probably, probably I don't know. It's probably... And then it just, not a month, it was like a week we had it. It chugged and then it just stopped one day. Like... Uh... Could be furious. It went slower. Yeah, see, it's... Borrow the fairy box, please. Yeah. Don't kick it over. <laughs> there you go. Is that alright? Or do you need um, move that? Right, so, uh, that radiator ain't gonna come on, so, is it? No. That's fine. I'm just gonna put my computer against it then. Hear it chug. Uh, the actual thing chugs. There you go, now that's it just now. Just that, nice. And that, it won't use that now throughout the whole cycle now. So, so it'll just fill up through the actual detergent box. And then, yeah, so when it, on the rear <coughs> it says it'll go back to the detergent. Yeah. yeah. There you go, it's gone back now. Yeah, I've just noticed your suspension's got more movement to it than mine seems to. But it's firmer anyway, your one seems more firmer, the suspension. Mine's big, it's uh, 8 kilo. Oh yeah, yours has got the 3 shots. Yeah. Mine's only got the 2. I didn't select hygiene. Hygiene takes about three hours. So that jet is a lot better. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> about three hours. Yeah, so it fills through there, and then it fill, you sort of see it fills it through the actual controller as well. Mine's directly straight onto the glass. Yeah, that's what a lot of them do. Yeah, because mine, even my professional, it actually goes all the way around like that. But it's your pressure straight on is the... really good. I noticed on the videos, your water pressure is really good. Like, yeah, I've just got a really good water pressure for the start, though. I call water pressure really good. <laughs> well, as I explained to Brandon as well, my water pressure on the hot is more powerful than it was on the cold. 
Really? Do you know what I've been yeah. told? Apparently, Meelas have got a regulator in them. They've moved the wrong tool, he over tightened it, and he ruined the heater on it. So we had to buy another heater. I done it myself, and then, yeah. Then yeah, because you can over tighten that. Yeah. So then it basically just rips through it, the, it the seal. Oh, it's going to spin now, isn't it? Yeah, it does. I think it does about five rinses on all four on this program. What ones well, can? Well, the valve's the extra rinse. Uh, yeah, because I selected extra rinse. plus on it, not extra rinse. Yeah, the water plus the extra rinse is separate on this. At least it doesn't do what mine does. Pump oh, on, really pump rare. off, pump on, pump off. It does that, like. Jock, really rarely you'll ever get a smooth spin on this. But, I don't think. No, mine, I don't get smooth spin most of the time either. No, you won't get it. Jock, this, this program doesn't care about balancing the watch. What's it out from? Yeah, it doesn't care. <laughs> no, it's alright, but the, the floor hasn't given way yet. Oh, fast, <laughs> dis oh, fast distribute. Yeah, it's well, it hasn't done that way it normally stops and then tries to do it again. No, well, mine was doing like that. Yeah, because normally does that burst and then stops and then goes on the floor properly. So oh. that's why that's why it does tap a lot because it's not actually level. <laughs> so the drum does tap against the actual tub. Because the tub's fixed inside the oh. case, right? Yeah, yeah. And then obviously the drum is free. It's a little bit different. So it isn't does it? actually hit oh. the tub sometimes if it's not not careful. Oh. Oh, but once cool it is, design, but sometimes it's probably not the best. Thing. And it's got two doors. It's got two seals. It's got one at the front and one in the back. <laughs> so the back seal can also rip, oh. which is quite a common problem. Oh, because I remember Lucas's one, Mister Laundry's one. His one. He's got the same one. Yeah, um, and, and he also had with a, he had to, he had to clean the. Um, the seal at the back because it gets all mouldy. So. Exactly. But also the levels are ridiculously low, one of my noticed. Yeah, he, he adjusted his. Yeah. And I'm going to adjust mine eventually. I'm going to do it standard first, but then I'm going to adjust them later on. So who, which, what, who was it that did it on their normal LG? And it's like, this is the cotton level, and this is the rinse level, and it's like up here, it's like this too ridiculously high. I don't know. I want to see where the rinse level up to the door, but not halfway up. Like he'd done, like uh, we were thinking of. That Asco I had did real high levels, that did. So only one wash. Medic 7. <laughs> I like the medic rinse function. Oh, that's what those professionals do, medic rinse. Um, or is it the 6065 does it? No. It doesn't do medic rinse. Well, it just fills hot rinse at the end. You can have a hot rinse. That's yeah. what we got that one unable to do. You can have a hot finish. <laughs> Because that's what mine came with preset, and I couldn't stop like coming out did you, How much do you pay for that? That professional was it quite cheap? Guess. Hundred quid. No. Fifty quid. No. Higher or lower? Lower. Thirty quid. No. Twenty quid. Yeah. No <laughs> way. Oh my god. Oh man. <laughs> Sorry, I was like, I want it! That was like £3,000 brand new! <laughs> and it's like, oh my god, and do you know how many hours it's done? Less than a thousand, isn't it? Yep, 700 hours. And I got you got that bargain. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a little vibrator. Oh, it feels nice. It feels like a massage, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, I moved it around a little bit, it's not as bad as last time. God, when we had it, it was like. Uh, it, was yeah, not... it was walking nearly. This is flaws, but that's another reason why I'm thinking to put this downstairs. And then it boosts. Because then it won't be as bad. See so, what I mean? But then also, if I have this downstairs, I can do wash races. Like, run together. Yeah. It's also, as you see, Brad, it's not as bad as last time. It's more smoother. Yeah. And that, so that, that professional is the bargain I Oh, that has. is amazing. Good nick as well. Like, yeah, there's nothing wrong like, with it either. It's funny, he gets a professional for 20, and there's me who gets an A3060 for 500 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> Luke got his one for like a still, I think he got it free. He got it free, yeah. I'm like, oh for God's sake. <laughs> yeah, but his <laughs> hasn't been blown. I bet the guy that you bought it from was like. He told me his mum said put it on eBay, you get 20 pounds, but it wasn't, because you get 464 for it. Mind you, I put my top loader on that was broken, and I paid. 40 from the auction rooms and sold it for 120 quid. Still broken. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. 
I thought it's like the length of their intermediate spins. Yeah, I think it, it, some yeah. programs it does it longer than others. If it detects Most. a heavy load, it will do it for about four minutes. Really? Yeah, mine will do it for four minutes. Yeah. That's slowing See, down. See, it like. wouldn't happen with the gravity drain ones because they're really good. Like, yeah. yeah. It would never happen. Well, that. that's just the basic model, that one. That's the basic belt. Yeah. It's got the 1950 watt heater in, which is the smallest heater you can get. Which is the same size as heater you get. You can still buy those yeah. professionals, can't you, Camila? Yeah, they, they haven't put the. Um, when, I don't know when they're going to bring out the new professional jet in the UK. They said May 9th, 2019. It's weird because they haven't. They're still, they're still not actually still released. Still got the old ones on there. Does that mean they're still producing them? Maybe they're using up the last like space and cabinets then. Maybe. Maybe that's what they're doing with it. Because yeah. if you go on the German professional website, they've got all the new ones on there. But if you go on the UK one, it's still got all Maybe the old Australian ones on there. Well, then yeah, they hardly ever sell professionals. Yeah. I don't think. So on the first rinse it'll fill through the main wash, and then on the second and third or whatever it goes through the jet. I've just flushed out the excess. Your suspension is a lot more quieter. Is it? And mine, you know, mine's got that. Oh yeah. It's done that from day one. Still going. First rinse, decent. There we are. That's actually clear, quite clear that is though. Hmm. I haven't tried Mila's own powder yet, I want to actually try it. Their own rigid set. Yeah, I actually want to give it a go. But not in my mind, I'd have to get a new Mila for it. I just I just wouldn't want to put it through mine. I want to get like top of the range. One of these, basically. Yeah, basically. I want an Avatronic. Or W1. W288, I'd probably have I just like the fact the comfort line facer it's got. But I don't know how you put that under a worktop though. It'd be a bit hard. Because I can have it sticking out really, because it would. Yeah. You can't have the professional too big. Oh, it's such a shame. Say I'm professional, the professional will be hooked up permanently in the workshop eventually. I know, like a own little spot. In the, you know, in the, in the toilet. Oh, in that little spot. <laughs> it actually fits under the little sink I've got in there. But, so it'll drain into the. Is that where you got the sink. studio line one in there? No, they're well. They're in there, but they're not even hooked up. One, the I've got two those two little steel line dishwashers now. That pay quite a bit. They're for. Nice. So we're eventually going to have one in the workshop and one at the. Uh, Do you know the house weird shop? compact condenser dryers and you see, and the controls are like all the way down. It looked like you a know what I've got. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> the TC4, That's probably the, the only compact, compact condenser dryer ever built. Yeah. And did it work or because I don't know why I think yeah, it fun. works. And it's really smooth as well. Like funny how the drops, the controls are all on the floor. And you can hook, and you can warm up like loads of Bosch ones, loads of welling. Get a bit chill, look. Do not spin that. Loads of welling in no, it it and normal ones. Surely it won't. No. Nah. Nah, nah. Oh, the welling motors, yeah. There's obviously the amount of hot points and inserts now, stripped down. on cottons and most programs, it it will fly it back into distribution. But on bath robes, yeah. it turns around a few times before it tries to rebalance. So it takes longer, but... At least it doesn't do the indecent start balancing, but it just... Oh, really, really, really. That it, 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 is, it is a lot better. Oh, it, is, it goes the other way now, doesn't it? I remember. The, the smart the tech. No, for me though, the best balancing... The smart tech and that my time now reverses. Yeah, yeah, that's the one but I had, It only had, does yeah. depending how unbalanced it is. The more unbalanced it is, the more it will do it reverse. It will yeah. stop. If it's slightly unbalanced, it will just do the standard re... So yeah, and do it up again. The biggest so the thing is that the original, the original is... WIXEs and stuff like that, and the the evolution was one did the same. Margarita did it as well. Down to more. It, it's, that's it's, a fact, it's, it's the fact that you slowed down, sped back up, and it only gave yourself like five seconds to say whether it was unbalanced or not. And so you'll do it, and you think, oh, that's balanced, you can go now. No, it's slowed down, or it'll go, it'll spin back up. You go, it's definitely unbalanced, and it'll go, no, we think it's balanced, and spin, and then, like... Because <laughs> it's only spent five seconds to decide whether it's balanced or not. Then he modified it, so it slowed down. And it did a slow... And it. actually did do a slow... <laughs> for All on one side of the drum! No. <laughs> you know that Aquatus as well, did you know it as a test programme? If you press the bottom... I do, for... but I can't find it, so yeah, it was just... Yeah, you know, on the, um, <laughs> if you go... Um, I'm gonna have to do a video on it and put it on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, sort of that Asco I had. It had a serv it had a service motor. Hang on, one second. So if you, I'm gonna do the one on the Vestal as well. Uh, the so if you press Vestal. all four Ooh, of the all the 
four buttons there, yeah. like one, two, three, four, then it will go into a test mode. It will say test and then it will fill, turn around a few times and then drain and then go into a spin. I think it heats as well. It goes all the way back up to 1600 or whatever. So he's in the yet. test mode that, I, that you can do on the, the smart tax and stuff like. I've done the video. Yes, it. yeah. That's a bit. Because um, that's quite good actually, because you can actually. It, it's preset at cold, but you can actually turn the temperature on and it will yeah, heat to 40. Yeah. Is the true one of those WMFUG models was hot and cold for and it was solved through John Lewis only? Yeah, I think it was actually. John was it? it was like it had it had black door but there white. was a there was a yeah. few hot points during about between two thousand and twelve and two thousand fifteen with hot bills. They were saying that they, they oh, wow. should bring it back really. Oh, I agree. I think they should bring it back. Well the only um domestic washing machine I've seen that's E back. Yeah, and also Oh my god. Oh and also Fisher and Piper, they do hot and cold. Yeah, they are. But that's because they're manufactured for Australia, that's why. Yeah. Because mainly in Australia everyone's got hook up for Hot. Yeah. And also the most expensive meter now, the passion, that also has a hot feed on it. Alright. Yeah, it, I looked on the specs of it, it's got a hot that's the only one that the whole meal a lot that has a hot feed on it. Hopefully it works on like the like the way the professional does and Yeah, I think you can hot. do hot rinses, yeah, I think that's the, yeah. and or you where it adds hot first and then adds cold later on. Because that's what my professional does, it, it fills up with hot, even on cotton forty. It'll heat, it'll heat fill it with hot, and then about two minutes later, if it needs to top up, it will top up with cold. <laughs> <laughs> to bring you back Defense down, it's object. actually too hot. <laughs> so it'll sort of get it to 45 and then drop it to 40 <sighs> rather than the other way around. Oh. It's actually like crushing my legs against that radio every time it's shaking. I was actually surprised it's not moved over yet that way. <laughs> Probably the carpet's holding it in, I think. To get the side of it. Yeah, well, that's why nothing. That's why I didn't know the... The reason why it's doing that because there's a floorboard here that's quite effed here. <laughs> quite if, it, if that was alright, then it wouldn't be as bad as this. At least I don't have to bleep that out. <laughs> that's why I sense the bleep out everything. <laughs> When it speeds up, it'll be better than it's just... You have a reading of 6.5 magnitude on the Richter scale. <laughs> you, the route, just... you can actually see on this camera actually vibrating, like, bounce up and down. You'll speed up in a second. Ooh, nice and solid on my next set. So what RPM does it actually get up to? A thousand, speed? isn't it? I think a thousand, right? There you go. Why would it... It sounds no, a bit more like 11. it goes from 1,000 to 12. That's doing about 1,100. Because normally you would well, go actually, to 1,000 and then go down. I can't tell the amount of RPM on the machine. Because we were trying to find counters, weren't we, yesterday? Right. The, I'm looking at that. That's, that's looking like it's about, ele about 1,100. I go by the vi On a silent machine, I go by the vibration of it. I even found out later on more by when I edit the videos. Because the obviously the fan spins are given away. The giveaway obviously how fast it's going. Yeah. And then I start comparing it against the uh, expense. Sometimes I yeah, put a thousand and then realise that it's actually it's been at 800 RPM, 850. So people notice the top speed. But the thing is though, if you select 900 on the top speed, you will do 850 and then you will go up to 900 RPM. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it doesn't know which way to shake, it's going that way, it's going that way. It's... How much do you charge for massage? <laughs> you know, massage? Massage and laundry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> you think yeah. we're getting that um, the instant washer dryer or not? Leave nah. It? It, I would have liked the washer dryer they did of the squared or ones, the eco set. They did a 1200 model. But it is a 1200 yeah. washer dryer. It's, it is, it is nice now. though. We've seen an instant washer dryer on. Well. I said to him, because in the workshop I got another WDG 1295, but it needs the tub replacing. Nice. But I got a spare tub. Matt and Elliot want it. <laughs> they, wanted, they want that It seems to be taking longer and longer and longer now to dry. Oh, yeah. And I think it might start to leak or something. Which wouldn't surprise me, because that, that, that heat pump came out of the John Lewis. Because the timing's all wrong anyway, because the original one had a 1300 watt, and that was a 900 watt. Ah, uh, so the timing's all out. Yeah. So it says like 1 hour 50 on the cartons, but I know for a while it should take about 2.5 hours. But it's taking even longer than that. 
and sometimes even timing out after four hours still. Mm. So it's taking too long. That and the fact that it clunks because it's not made for that. Because <laughs> oh. <laughs> at the side here, one of the loops for the um, heat pump is at the side, oh, yeah. and it's, it hits that basically when it's going round oh. with the um, the sensor band. <laughs> All right. To be fair, the sensor band isn't working either. It's no longer sensing, so oh, it, it just dries everything until it's just. I don't. I don't. It's not the fact it dries too long. It's, it's just 50 RPM burst. Then 300 RPM burst. Then a the longer the 300 RPM burst. What is the And point? then eventually do with an actual like three, four hundred, and then six hundred spin. Ten and a half minutes longer. It is. That is ridiculous. Simon Suzlocking. It's like what? Ten and a half minutes. Got worse, but their final spin's completely different as well now. You could thought it used to do 300, 300, then it would do the 400, 600, and then it would slow down and do the anti tangle. Then it would do. I, I used to say it was 600, it wasn't, it's 500. 500. Yeah, 3, 4, 500. And well, I thought down. it was 3, 4, 6, yeah. And then it would go, and then depending on which model you had, it would either then go to 300 to then 1000, back down. And then have another phase afterwards. Or you used to do. The 12 3, ones used to just go straight up to. 12, 14. The, 50, the 16 ones go 14, 15, 16, I think they do. Like the 16 ones, yeah, they do. <coughs> they go 14, 15, 16. I don't think But saw. I couldn't tell, you can't tell the Ultima when it changes, but there is a 1500 pitch. There is, yeah. Which is really we, hard when, to detect. When we were at Charlie's, we were filming his WD860, and I was like, okay, that's definitely a 1600. Now, I didn't hear the motor go up, but all of a sudden the machine started rattling even louder. I said, no, I said, that's definitely just gone faster. But it only stays at 1500 for about 20, 20 seconds. Yeah, and then so you goes. can't really notice it, and it takes that long to ramp up. That was like, um... Josh, remember that hot point washer dryer tester? The WDL5490? Right, the one that melt, it literally melted itself. Oh, God. That, uh, Joe Pedro was uh, listening to it. Because I said, I don't get why it did so many bursts to go to 1400. He said, no, he said, it, he said I don't think it was doing 1400. He said, I reckon it was doing 1600. Because he said he reckons someone's put a 1600 board in it, and it wasn't meant to do that. Yeah, but then my washer, the the, uh, the WD440 I had, there's 1400 spin on the actual fan spin, but if it goes on a thermo spin, it does 1600. Have you noticed then? That's uh, the 500 one. Video yes, I've print. seen. Yeah. Are they still need. Well, to be honest, then that probably. No, I'll take them off. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, then that probably. <laughs> I was just like seeing like how like what their people's reaction would be. Like, <laughs> you're asking too much. You know what you should have said? Free hook up. I got an offer for that one though for three hundred quid. You know what you should have said, Josh? Yeah. You should have said free hook up and installation included. <laughs> Free demonstration. Do you know, imagine that if someone could actually do that, make it into a, like a real machine. Oh, someone will probably. Like, so it would actually like be like. like oh, we've a actually filled the water. Yeah. Suspension. Drain. Dr actual suspension. If I got another one of them, I would do it to it. No, no. If it's a uh, sentium, it wouldn't need suspension. It would just need the same setup. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it does have suspension. It, it has a, a five-point suspension, but it holds the motor basically. I'm having. It's got two pumps in that. It's got one for the one jet and it's got two for the other two jets in it. I remember when I was little, I had a dream that I received a toy Hot Point 99 series washer dryer for Christmas. Oh, I had a, I, I, years ago, I, I, when I was like probably about six years old, I remember having a dream where I had like, you know, like the old Hot Points, you know, the WMAs and all, I had one where like it was about this big. It was a toy. Yeah. No, I had, I had, a, I had a dream I received one. It was a 9901 in a toy. And it had it's it, it it wasn't just like a few buttons. It literally would do a wash, rinse, spin, and a dry. It would do all that. And this was a dream. The dream I had, and it came with its own like washing and and box of personal. And I remember switching on it. So relate. <laughs> yeah. And I remember when I put it on the spin, it had the realistic noise of it going into spin, like a, like a proper nine five. I was like, and it was it's about that big, off, probably bigger than that. that. And it was a toy. I was like, imagine a nine five three got two thousand RPM. It was self destructs But I would like to see a one which can do that. Just go for gold from this week to top speed. But saying that, I don't think it dries. Tool, I don't think it dries that well because. No bounds left after that first time. <laughs> <laughs> Just the maintenance wash would kill it. Maintenance wash would kill it. 
But I, I don't know, I mean, yeah, the, the 95s are good with that programming of going from distribution to 1000, but I find the A36 is more effective because it does the bursts, it does like the increased steps. It just also sits at 1100 RPM for two minutes. So yeah. Pretty good. At each speed Which is probably why, because like, that's why the, 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 the Hoover hasn't been changed, haven't changed the spin because he's sit at 1200 for like four or five minutes, and then 1400 for like two minutes, and that's how he gets his A spin. Sits there for yeah, so Maloney's, long. Maloney's, the 16 year ones, you just keep going down from 1600 to 500 and back up, they just keep doing that. Yeah, do you know why? What, the motor? Yeah, well, because so, it overheats the motor otherwise. No. Yeah, like a hot point tell you in the in the manual, isn't it? Pulse spin is to reduce wear and tear on the fabric, no, it's, to, it's to stop the motor from burning out. Yeah. yeah. I'd stay in a hotel last night. No, yeah. <laughs> Ibis London you got to. Then first thing in the morning, pick up the bean Yeah, it is. Well, we'll have to have breakfast then. It is actually moving on the floor. Yeah. Just, like, just hope it doesn't, just don't let it move left, because it's going to literally crush my legs against the radar. Right, right. So that's about 900 now. And then it goes faster. It's quite a big jump as well. I've got that uh, sensor out for it. Yeah, but it doesn't read an RPM though. Like, it doesn't read the actual... Oh, you've got to do it some... Needs to, it needs to read in hertz. Oh, that's you've how you do, you're doing it. got to do some kind of like conversion method for, it, for yeah. that one. For that reason, like... You know what you need, Josh? You need one of those infrared tachometers. What's that? You know what you should, like, uh, Kai's got one. You know like, how people do with the thermometer? You, oh, shine yeah. it. you can get one that actually measures the RPM. Oh, really? Yeah, because that's how we figured out with Kai's 9546 that the 1200 motor I gave him wasn't reaching the full 1200. It was only reaching like 1150 or something. It was like, that's look. about right, though. I was like, yeah. Because they're all limited to the have you noticed it's like machines are limited to about 50 RPM less than what these states? Oh really? Is that what they're... Well unless you've got that bush, 12 kilo, in which case it only does 1320 RPM. Looks like Hoover back in the day. Their machines weren't 800, they were 770 RPM. Until it actually officially said 800 on the draw. Yeah. <laughs> All machines do that, even NIPs would only do 50-50. Well, I'll say but they also did a 1550. I remember when the, the, the 900 series. The model, yeah. didn't they? Yeah, the, well, it's one of the W900, late 900 series. So, what have you done to change the model? What have you done to change the model? It's not 1600 model. Yeah. Because there was practically no difference in motor Spencer believes that's what they did with the Hoover new weights. He reckons the 1300 and 1400 ones are the same. I said, no, I said, there is, there is a difference between the motor pitch on both of them. See, the things change on that. Changes. So we'll, be, the we'll be a fabric, can, like a flower. Yeah, and then the next one, it'll be, be, I yeah, remember, it'll I remember, be a drain symbol, and then it goes to spin. I remember being a kid when you see it on the Hot Point dials, I never used to know what all the little well. symbols meant. Little flower, I yeah. I just knew the, the Whirly gig was the, the spot, yeah. was the spin. Whirly, yeah, I love how everyone yeah. calls it the Whirly gig. I, got I remember someone be saying to me, oh, put it on the Whirly gig. I got that from Nick Wilson when he said the word geek thing is a spin, so that's how I just... always used to, when I was like kid, I can start the washer and dry down stairs on my phone. <laughs> oh yeah, so can John. Yeah. yeah. So, it's like... It's a bit gimmicky. It, it, we were sat outside watching, I think it was something like the Ariston or the Hot Point at the time. You can see the next the thing, it's like, his phone went, went ping, it was like, I hope the dryer's done. <laughs> I've got to see that Ariston Margarita, that's a very nice one. Unfortunately, I got the module for this, but it didn't work, so apparently I need to be the gateway of it as well, which costs like 400 quid. So it's I'm a gateway? Like, what the? Me. Yeah. Be the gateway. It's just like money, don't it? Yeah. It's, and the pedestal at the bottom is where if you want, like, so if you want it, want it for washer and dryer, 
that was about eight hundred pounds. Oh, like I would never get a pedestal. I'm like, they're four hundred pound each. Actually, I did they're want bad. to see what a nine five on a pedestal would look like, but I was like, bad idea. <laughs> They'll probably just jump up. <laughs> it would literally just be like, literally the first thing to be like. Oh, so I can take him into spit. It probably be a distribution. It would look like something like Boots Owens films. When we moved to Australia the first time, I remember the suggestion from Alan was for my machines. He said, I, You can put two machines on the bottom, and I'll build you a, a stacking system, like a rack. You can put two of your other machines on top. And I said, It's not a good idea. He said, Why? I said, Because have you ever seen my machine during a spin? I said, It, it, said, it will come off that during a spin. It he said, So he said, Put your most stable one on. I said, um, I said, They're all old machines. I said, They're not stable. I said, The meter will have still on the bottom. But I said, The others, I said, They yeah, can't. The thing is, your stable machines, which are your Migula, are also extremely heavy. Yes. Oh, and God. that's the only reason. My dad and my cousin broke this up two flights of stairs. The Vortex, I think. The Vortex, that was it, yeah. Well, I sent someone a picture of the 9530 dial while it was on a rinse, the final rinse, and someone said, cold wash. I said, no. I said, that's a symbol for fabric conditioner. I was like, they thought the flower was an icicle. Oh. oh. I was like, oh my God. Or snowflake. I was like, what? The cold wash just after, you know, just before the spin. Yeah. After the rinses. What are we on now, Fox? We're on, the, we're, on the, we're on the whirly gig. We're on the vortex cycle. Oh, there you go, yeah. That'll spin. Yeah, probably. But if it was like a bush, it'd probably like slow down and try to release it. Bounce it. Yep. Oh. Oh. But normally it would have gone. What are we doing for tea later on? Where should we go? At least you weren't getting a 6 a.m. Where, whereabouts? Mike. Because you're quite far away from here. Are you? 180, it's 170 mile drive back. Mm. Oh. Uh, so Although, knowing Mike, he'd be coming down. He would come all down all the way here, wouldn't he? And then drive all the way back. And that's like 400 yeah. miles. Yeah, and he's going down country roads doing 90 miles an hour, literally. And I'm holding on to this car for dear life and I'm going to die. Yeah, but the trouble with Mikey's driving is... It's not good. <laughs> yeah, no, this is him driving. His eyes are like this on the road. He's got his eyes like really? headlights on the road like that. I've been doing driving lessons. I've been like, what, what car? I mean, I do 100. What transmission yours? Look, manual. manual. Oh, yeah. Five-speed oh. manual. And it's a two-litre. That's, that's what I'm learning, manual. Oh yeah, you got. If you're learning manual, then you can have an automatic if you want. But yeah. If you pass an automatic, you can only have automatic. Automatic, yeah. yeah. But automatics tend to only cut. Like, automatic gearboxes in small engine cars don't work properly, oh. and that's the ones that always end up with problems as well. Yeah, if you have like a two liter with an automatic, the big bit, they're dead smooth, and you never go wrong. Uh. That's it now, isn't it? Just, this is something to ramp up. Because depending on how many... Hang on, what's it doing now? It's starting down. 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 Yeah, so we, then it will stop and then go again. Then, no, then it will go up to 1600. Depending on how many miles I do over the next few months to determine what car I'll get next. Because I'm putting way too many miles on it's costing me a fortune in petrol. Because oh, I only does like, at best, 30 miles to a gallon, so... <laughs> <laughs> but I used to just do short runs around town. But that's only when you used to do about six, 7,000 miles a year. And it was like 25 miles to the gallon. Oh, God. An aircon's ridiculous. You put aircon on and all of a sudden you have no power. <laughs> <laughs> what did you stop up with you? Yeah. You literally spend the first few hundred RPM literally powering the air conditioning. Because <laughs> normally you can take off from like, say, 1000 RPM and you'd be fine. But there's a dead spot now until 1500 RPM. <laughs> you soon put aircon on. And you can actually feel it as well. You push aircon on and there's a clunk. By the accelerator. Really, um, they go straight up now. What, straight to 1600? No, they go up to about 1200 and then 1600. And then just like sit there. Oh. Well, 
when it gets up to this speed, it's smooth. But it's just when it's speeding up. It's That's like what yeah. Hoovers do. The fire on the part is okay. It's up level, but once it speeds up. So just what I know is like a Hoover, like the, the fire on the say, okay, 800, the machine like literally shakes itself to, to death. 1100, it settles down despite it being on balance. I just, the, yeah, the logics got worse as they sped up. I actually, I can't believe that's not gone blurry. It's not even just yeah, mine does that. Because like, uh, cool. what mine does, it has optical image stabilizing and it tries to focus the camera. So when, like, yeah. uh, I was at Rob and Steve's, the, the serum out they had is vibrating. Ah, the saying that, that has a gyroscope. Yeah, so camera. the camera's gone like that. It looks like the yours is fixed, whereas yeah. that's on the be aware the six hundred should be on. Whereas that's on the gyroscope, so it can move. It'll feel really weird when it's six hundred. It's quite a balance. Not as bad as having a two thousand Asco to shoot a vibe. It literally sh like put a shockwave through the patio when it went to two thousand. It, was... it will go up to sixteen hundred at four minutes. So two minutes to go, and then it will go up to sixteen hundred. But it does it about two or three minutes in sixteen hundred. Quite good, really. Well, it's 1600, you don't really need too long once it's got some speed. So, two, three minutes. That's what the Irish Tom Margaret did, about like two minutes to 1600. It was actually good, actually. Like Varenia does 2000 for over a minute. <laughs> yeah, the Asco does. Oh, it, the Asco is yeah, like. The motor is probably spoiling hot afterwards. The Asco is like three minutes nearly at 2000, it'll do. But it has to be. Perfect balance. Well, no, it, but yeah, it goes up on balance. So, that's the thing, it will go up on. But if it doesn't make it the first time round, it will slow down and it will go. Back. It will ensure it goes to 2000. So it will slow down and then it will redo that spin. So it will make sure it will do 2000. It's got cotton tidying on the dryer as well. Oh, oh that's that. Yeah. But you're gonna that's, add. That's what. Are you gonna add your own program with it? Um. <laughs> well, well there's some sort of thing you can do is when you go to the favourites, you can name it as what you want. Um, yeah. So you can I'm only going to mention what we did in John oh, Lewis. Oh yeah! I'm mention what we did in John Lewis with it. You did have a bed. And we said it's like the dirtiest program ever. <laughs> we put it on like cotton tight, it was about like a six hour program. Because all the employees had named it after themselves and whatnot. So there was like, there was like Sandra on there, I was like, huh? But Angela, Sandra's program. A Angela on there, it was That's Angela. Like old lady. <laughs> and then you got some like crystals, which is the 20 minute What well, I do like that says though, <laughs> Most touchscreen washing machines are like really laggy, but the screens are really laggy. But on them ones, they're like not even laggy at all. Saying that, the Grenier had like one of the first touchscreens, and it's like laggy. Oh, really? Yeah, it's not laggy. The Siemens Avalanche is really laggy though. Yeah, it's, yeah. And it can freeze up sometimes as well. God. Even even with normal logic, it's like the touch, the actual touch buttons, you go to like go push something, it won't do anything. But then it will completely freeze up, and, you, and the next thing you press it three times, it will lag up, and it will freeze. And the minute later, it will start on like clicking the program three times. So because you've done it, press it three times, it's logged it, and then it's gone. Any second now, that's gonna go. Yeah. Yeah. Any second now. Right, we'll do the options now. Yeah. So you, that's what used to annoy me with the logic. Was I gonna limit it? No. No, it won't limit it. It will go. It will go. There we go. Yeah. See, it goes up a little bit, and then down. Oh! Look at the door. Feel the vibration. Jesus. God. V1, rotate. <laughs> Stop being on the 747. <laughs> you can really make that a massage pilot. I'm gonna get fucked up. I nice. still can't believe this is not. It's, it's kind of blurry, but it's not that bad. Oh, really? Yeah. It's going more blurry. Have you noticed, Brian? It is more stable than the last time you used it. The famous thing, the infamous thing of me is that the door just rattles like hell on them. When it's so does Samsung's. I'm not saying it because of the plastic hinges. <laughs> Right, when that finished, I'm going to find that video of like, right. Nan's so eco bubble the, uh, that I did. The when I had, right, the hinge so I'm so stupid the door, when the hinge was coming out, so like it's leaking, some type of towels, and it was... Oh, that's... That's, that's why I don't like it. How about when everyone needs to do this with their cameras, remember this, put on top of the machine? And also the ad wash, the actual plastic actually cracks after a few months of use. 
No, you have to trust it, but they have to shoot the cracks. Yeah. And, it, and then it cracked and then it leaked into the door. And I couldn't get it. The actual door, it was like sealed up, so you could see like a puddle of water in the door. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. The way my camera blends the light in this looks so nice on this machine. There's there only go. two companies that now use plastic hinges. <coughs> plastic hinges. Samsung. And candy. Move on. Candy now. It's like. Does the Axie use it? Doesn't it? Yeah. yeah. The XI uses it. Although that one that we saw on YouTube, somebody basically tampered with it to make it leak out. And they put it on sensitive like several times to fill up so it's like it's there. Oh god. Well like two thirds way up and it like starts as like washing. And it's like all the water just came out. Do you want me to take that light down because it's much more easier to yeah, you can want, yeah. use. That's right. That's well I've you. still got to take all this down because I've got keep got copy. Oh we'll copy. use that. Alright then we'll use that. Mind you, we could take it down and plug that into that, into the extension lead. Makes sense. That's my silent suspension I've heard. <laughs> I like how it takes it so long to slow down, it's just so smooth. Well, then... Also, we have a big load nail do that as well. Someone had a video of a Miele washing machine slowing down and it took so long to slow down the machine was like just forget it and it just shut itself off. It didn't even wait for the anti-tangle, it just literally went straight and it just powered itself off. Because it took... No, yeah, I think it was well, like 18... No. It's Can you just open the door though? Um, in a few seconds, as soon as it said anti-crease finish... Oh, then can. it's not an instant release, not like mine then. Well, you probably yeah. can do it. Right. It's not official. Door locked. Oh wow. Oh no, now I can. Unload the drum before switching off. No, I'll just leave my washing in there. there we go. That's kind of what we've done. Wow, that's okay. actually, actually quite dry. I'm going to take, go downstairs and put that in the dryer. <laughs> Meme time coming up. <laughs> Meme time. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. All done. Mine doesn't even have a freaking. Oh, <laughs> 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 